mother in the art world. A mother in the art mm -hmm. world. I'm working hard the whole day and night and I'm trying my best to succeed These words, they don't seem all right and it's not big of a deal I think it has to do with the, in a way like cliché that the famous male artist is not a father and doesn't have a family but a muse and that the female artist doesn't have children but is producing artworks. So in a way female artists who are mothers who have children not only work against the cliché but of course they represent something that some people, I'm not part of that, um, would consider like a bourgeois lifestyle. So I think uh, it's, it's very very difficult for female artists with children to position themselves in this um, art world because they are not considered progressive. Yo pienso que es este miedo, verdad, me entender de, no sé, de, de parecer demasiado domésticas, de verdad, de creer que estoy tocando este tema y que es un tema de telenovela y que no le importa al mundo. Es una tontería, me entendés? O sea que verdaderamente es político. No me, parece, no, me, no me parece nada aburrido, me parece una tontería pensar que hablar de la maternidad es un tema doméstico aburrido porque estamos hablando de la vida misma. No hay nada más profundo y más grande que eso. El arte es un campo muy difícil porque está repleto de depender de... Es, una, es, un, es un campo de, de relaciones de poder y este campo de relaciones de poder todavía está, me entendés, como maniobrado, manipulado por, por el género del mundo, por el género masculino. Así que... Es un campo difícil. No creo que vaya a ser ni más difícil porque tener un hijo ni vaya a ser menos difícil por no tenerlo. Y además que cuando quedo embarazada, eh, recién estaba empezando a trabajar con una galería, creo que tenía dos o tres meses de por fin había to de, de que había tomado la decisión de dejar de trabajar y empezar a ser artista. Me había ganado León de Oro, todo fue como muy rápido, no, eh, no fue planificado. Entonces, cuando tengo la noticia del embarazo y se lo cuento a la galería, sí fue un poco choqueante, uh -huh. ¿no? De que, coño, estás empezando a trabajar conmigo, no tienes ni tres meses y, y creo que ese susto me habrá durado dos meses, ¿me entiendes? Porque luego pues, pues, empieza todo el cambio hormonal y esta cuestión de la aceptación de la niña, la, el, el amor que empezás a sentir. Una amiga muy cercana, que es una artista, que quiero y respeto muchísimo, y entonces estábamos en Costa Rica, yo tenía seis, siete meses de embarazo, entonces es esta artista que yo respeto, o sea, mi, mi amiga es una artista muy radical, mm. estaba tomada y me grita, ¡Pinche Regina! ¡Estúpida! Las artistas mm. feministas no se embarazan, güey. Aborta ese niño y te lo en cemento. Entonces, yo conozco muchas mujeres, ¿me entendés? Que, que tienen una familia completamente normal y que son brillantes en su carrera. Mm. De hecho, antes de que mi hija naciera, mi preocupación era mantener un balance entre las dos cosas. No existe tal balance, ¿me entiendes? Tu hija siempre va a estar aquí. O sea, si en un momento tuvieras que elegir, pues mandas a la mierda tu carrera y mandas a la mierda el mundo, o sea, porque lo que importa es la hija, ¿me entiendes? Pero eso es balance, va, va sucediendo mientras tú vas siendo más mamá, mientras tu niña va creciendo, te vas dando cuenta que la vida es así. O sea, yo podría dejar de respirar, podría dejar de hacer algo, pero no podría dejar que a mi hija la suceda. No sé si lo he hecho bien, I just say fuck it, like, you know, I mean, I don't want motherhood to define me completely, is I guess what I'm saying. I think the, the crazy thing about being an artist is that the art world moves so fast and you always feel like if you take a break from it, you get left behind. And I think it's this urgency that somehow kind of makes us feel in conflict with kind of are taking a time out as well. And so if we could just maybe like learn to chill out a little bit. It's really a lot about exposure and just having a child limits that a lot. You're not free to go to an opening every night. You're not free to go and have a beer with a curator after a show. You know, it's just, it's become 
yeah and I, I can see why it's it becomes a major decision in an artist's life whether or not to have kids because that part gets very limited the social aspect of of the art scene which is unfortunately not talked about enough I think like it it's a very deciding factor on whether or not you make it in the art world like that whole behind the scenes kind of you know rubbing elbows and <laughs> all that yeah I don't think there are many art jobs out there and it's really difficult I mean I to me like my priority is still being an artist um, I'm trying to come up with the money by looking for working grants and all this but we all know that's a really tough kind of situation to be in and always relying on these working grants it doesn't happen so I mean looking for part-time work elsewhere in other fields like in, in kindergartens let's say or or like in restaurants is always helpful so yeah I mean you go where you can get the most flexibility and that you can still get paid for being both a mother and an artist and I uh, I really I mean these are always the questions, no? like how to find the time, how to find the money. But if you're serious about your art, you just don't give up on it, I think. And there are always kind of ways around it. Hopefully there are ways around it. <laughs> I don't know. Like what, what do you do <laughs> about it? No. Hey, Finn, you're eating too much chocolate. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Open it? No, we don't open it. We don't open it, love. You've already eaten a whole rabbit. Okay? Okay. Okay. Good. Ah. <laughs> I know, but no, we're not opening it. I mean, being an artist even today is, of course, being in a rather precarious situation. When we talk about like income and stability of like planning a life, then uh, being an artist is something completely different from being, let's say, like an accountant or something. And I think this kind of like insecurity, of course, um, leads to the fact that some people don't think that they are in their position where they could have a family. That's why, like, you know, the, the, the male artist is in a, like, better position, so to say, because um, most times uh, they become fathers when they have the financial resources to do that. I mean, many, like, uh, female artists with children are single mothers, and then uh, you have, like, the obligation both for your art and your family. First of all, I don't have any children and um, that was never my intention to have no children because I have a very supportive partner and we really wanted to. But I, at the same time, I was a very, very obsessive worker and obviously that took all my strengths, also my bodily and my psychologically and, and emotional strengths, so that nothing was left over for a child. <laughs> As an artist you have to be very stubborn and very courageous and really, really try to get a job which doesn't take away your energy. And uh, if you seek, you will find. <laughs> I think. A young artist has to fight. You have to fight for it, otherwise you drown. And you have, you, with, without any schuld, or what means schuld, or without any feeling guilty, you should take money from everywhere, from your mother, from your aunt, from, <laughs> from your husband. Just take it, take it. <laughs> they seemed to be in a very, very tough situation because there was not enough help. Yeah? 
and it was not so it was not so normal to take your child uh, and go to an exhibition or uh, to take it to take it to a conversation or to a meeting it this it was not really in yeah but nowadays the young artists or young mothers take their child uh, everywhere even in the cinema, you are every the coffee house, in exhibition, in openings, in meetings, everything. In in forty years ago, in Vorlesungen, in lectures and university, it would have been impossible that a young uh, student uh, takes her child and feeds it on on, uh, on her breast. Uh, that would be a scandal. But nowadays, it's total normal. And therefore it's much easier, it's much more normal. I experience uh, the young women nowadays, women artists, with or without children, as much, much stronger, much stronger and, and more um, self, self-speful, self-confident. Uh, self and they are courageous enough to ask for help, also her partners, their partners. And yeah, they are much stronger, I think. Money gets less, less <laughs> at the same time, but they're so strong, they will, they will cope with it, I think, I'm sure. Of course, on one side, there is a big difference between the um, like a maternity labor, reproduction labor, w between the women who are like uh, uh, full-time employed, uh, women that are unemployed, or the women that are freelance. So, um, as an artist, we belong to this uh, freelance uh, space, I guess, right? Uh, bordering the unemployed, right? You were so busy with your child, <laughs> you didn't have really time to come over for discussion, meet for coffee. And so then these things, um, then you realize, okay, yeah, you were not that available when your child was small. So this, uh, this is more the issue that is not like a content oriented, I think, but it's more about like a being available or um, nowadays still, because um, we have a lot of uh, offer to do unpaid work and then uh, you cannot take that because maybe this is the, the reason, you know, you're not in the position to take uh, so much unpaid work because you have child to, that you're also financially responsible about and you also need your time to spend with this child. Oh, I'm sorry, you know, I cannot manage it uh, this way, but uh, they might just take someone else, you know, <laughs> that's the point. So. Um, uh, but that's that's with the art market that is uh, quite unregulated, right? Uh, or uh, when I say here art market, I don't mean the the market where people sell artworks, but I mean more like a kind of um, um, yeah, just picking artists for shows or for conferences okay. or for whatever for residencies. My God, I was invited to to take part in a residency, and they told me we don't take children. It would be good if sometimes one could refer to you as a mother artist in the terms of like uh, taking in consideration, like uh, maybe arranging some child care or some child program when there are conferences, exhibitions uh, and stuff, right? There is uh, really, so I almost never seen anything like that, right? Uh, and um, I think that would be really important, you know, for, for, for us to have this possibility, you know. The art institutions, even when you go as an audience, as a visitor, or uh, if you're taking part in a conference or uh, exhibition. I've heard that very rarely some of my friends that were really, that been really pushy, managed to get like a childcare paid while they're setting up their shows or stuff like that. I can only talk about the f people I know. I used, I used to run an art institution in Dusseldorf and I worked a lot with female artists and several of them 
happen to be like young mothers, so they simply brought their children during installing their exhibition. So for them, it was something completely natural. And they also made a point about like that it should be something very natural. So it's like the institution just had to cope with the fact that they were mothers. And it worked very well. But uh, um, then I um, experienced that, for instance, with like bigger institutions, it's not that easy. If somebody says like, okay, I'm, I'm going to install my show, but I bring my two kids. Then it's like, okay, why? Complicated. Um, so for me, I mean, my, my aim as like as a creator or as somebody like uh, who ran an institution, it was like, you know, what's the problem? I mean, it's it's the most natural thing in the world that there is like kids around. So why do make such a fuss about it? That we feel we have also a kind of um, right, yeah to have kids, also as an artist. We are just human beings and it's kind of... It, it, somehow it belongs to our being or not. As a human. <laughs> I don't regret it also. I mean, it's not so easy to grow up a child. The whole education is not so simple. In the 80s nearly nobody had kids as an artist. Perhaps in the 70s more, yeah, the hippie generation. And then it stopped somehow. And now it is back. And now women get more kids, yeah. But often we relate with about 40. And when you have children, you have children. I mean, if you think too much about it, you avoid it. And if you want children, you get children. It's very simple, and I think it's uh, it's kind of, of course, you, it's getting harder to you you lose your freedom of. I mean, it's much harder to always float ar around. I mean, you can't go every month somewhere else what I did before, and of course you have this responsibility of earning money also. Because alone you don't need so much. As a family you need much more. And we, I'm, and my, I'm a single mother. If you have kids, you have to stay to it. And then something goes slowly. Yeah, it really goes slowly. But life is very long, <laughs> I have to say. Mm. Like you still can develop when they're a bit older, yeah? And don't be afraid so much. You really have to reduce everything down to the most important things and cut out sort of excess a bit when the baby comes along because you just you can't do everything anymore. And so I think art has become kind of more important in a way because it's one of the really important things. Yeah. It's ultimately, for so many women I've talked to, it's disappointing. It's not what you think it is. You have the wonderful child, but motherhood is totally overwhelmingly... It's a totally overwhelming thing that happens to you, and I feel like other mothers don't say that to you. They, they try to make it sound like it's okay and just do it because they want everyone else to have it too so they <laughs> relate the difficulties to with each other. But it's, it's, I don't think anyone would do it if they actually rationalised it, you know. You don't regret it because of the wonderful little human being but I can't stress how much it affects your life. In a, in a kind of, like a bomb, it's a bomb in your life. <laughs> to deal with the professional art context, I have always kind of worked on a persona, a professional persona, um, who is kind of quite bitchy in a way and quite sort of a little bit 
removed to sort of help me with my shyness and social anxiety and that's also why I have my artist name. I like to kind of have a bit of distance from my public artist, um, who I am as an artist, who I am personally. And so I was quite worried about more affecting that because of course the baby breaks down all of that you know like if I'm out with Maud there's like a a like softer more caring part of me that I would never want to be seen as professionally just because it's I see that as more like a personal private side of me um, but I actually think I'm more comfortable with it now because, because I actually think like breaking down those boundaries in the art world like at an opening is actually quite good like sometimes it really actually breaks through the hierarchies it's extremely hierarchical world <laughs> you're hungry you're hungry we should have a little eating break. Can we have a little eating break? I'm sorry. Well, I think I need to eat something too. I want to eat a little plastic bottle. They should be more demanding because um, many artists or not many artists, but some artists, I mean, always excuse for having children and that it's like problematic for them that they don't have that much time to prepare, whether it's like an exhibition or something else. And it's like, why? Other people have like other obligations or second jobs. I mean, there's a thousand reasons, but, you know, having children and being a successful um, artist it's not a compromise or contradiction, not at all. It's something super, super natural. But, I mean, they should be more insistent. And it is indeed this like very basic thing, like bring your kids when you install an exhibition. Of course, it is not different inside the art world as it is in general, where women don't occupy the same position than men. There is the case of Georgia O'Keeffe, who sold the highest price ever paid for a painting for a female artist. And this price is not even a fifth of the price paid for a Sans painting, which is the highest price ever paid for a painting. So this makes me believe that it is still important and I hope that through our lives and through our work we can question this and achieve a more balanced position for women. And of course motherhood is there for reducing the time of women in general, either artists or not. And, uh, if motherhood would be better regulated and better shared with fathers and in general, if it would have another position in society, of course, women, we would have a much more balanced position and uh, we could have both our families and our work, which is still, of course, what we need to struggle for. No more food. No, Mama puts it away.
she lives in suburbia She's got a mortgage and a couple of cars She's got a widescreen TV with so many shows She can't wait to see She's engaged to